Hello friends! Many people ask me how to make a simple, secure combination lock with minimal costs. Everybody knows what the combination lock is. There are many movies where bank robbers suffer over the opening of the safe with combination lock. Of course, these days it's much more difficult because of added biometric fingerprint scanners, eyeball, etc. But the combination lock is quite good for many applications. If we are not talking about a daring burglary, the selection of the correct combination may take years. A suitable circuit was found in the spaces of the internet and I could only draw a PCB. But after assembling the device did not work. The reason turned out to be too high resistor values in the base circuit of transistors. These values are reduced. The circuit built on chip of Demical Counter CD4017 to which are fed signals from buttons. Earlier I made a stroboscope where pulse is fed to input CD4017 from generator NE555. In this case we use buttons. Each press is one pulse. On keyboard only a few buttons are true or working and the rest are false. In this case true are S1 to S4 and false are S5 to S12. By the way the number of false may be any. When power is applied on pin 3 is present a logical 1. With pressing S1 button logic 1 is supplied to the clock input 14 of counter and it begins work. In other words begins pulse reading. So logic 1 appears on the second pin. Pressing S2 again logic 1 is applied to the input 14 and now opened port 4. Then in the same way pin 7 is opened and finally the output 10. This signal from pin 10 opens transistor which in turn can drive the load. For example, this load can be relay coil which will switch more powerful network device. In this case use only 4 outputs of chip and the number of decoding keys is equal to 4. These buttons have to be pressed in the correct order. If you break the order the lock will not open. The device has a reset function. If an attacker presses on the false buttons, then the logic 1 will go on pin 15, reset, or will return to its original state and the code must be entered again. Now let's speak about design. As an input device, I used an old phone's keyboard with gold plated contacts that do not fade over the years. But I had some trouble to find out which tracks on this board to cut and which to leave. It takes a lot of time. Therefore, I advise you to use separate buttons, not to be confused with the connection. My keyboard consists of 12 buttons in total, so that's why I chose 8 false buttons and 4 true buttons. PCB assembling don't take much time. Much more time was spent on the keyboard connection. How much time will take if I use a computer keyboard? After PCB assembling, we can check its performance without keyboard, just using a piece of wire. To visualize the process, I use LED in the collector circuit of the transistor. First, should check the correct combination, then the false and also reset function. By the way, if after entering the correct combination accidentally pressed one of the false buttons, it will cause reset and the code must be entered again. Perhaps someone will think that it will be easier to make on a microcontroller, but this is not the case. The scheme hasn't fewer components and in addition will have to write a program. How many possible combinations of options in this lock? Lots of. It depends on the number of workers and false buttons. CD4017 chip has 10 outputs of which 9 can be used for encoding, in other words get a 9 digit code. And you can use a much more false buttons with different symbols. So we have billions of possible combinations. The power supply voltage preferably within 12 volt. Scheme consumption is standby mode is not more than a few milliamps. 
All links you can find under video. Thanks for watching.